Yeah, I set up a basic circuit uh, with my new power supplies over here. And uh, I got an unexpected outcome. As you can see, I just got a transistor right here set up with a uh, LED. It's a, a, a really bright multi-LED uh, setup. I think it's, it's for a car of some type. Anyways, uh, I got 12 volts hooked up. I just got one volt here. Both of these are DC voltages. So as you can see, this there's no reason why this thing should oscillate. And I'm going to show you that it actually does to my surprise. Um, so basically here we got our 12, 12 volts. Got our 1 volt. Now, if, if that's already right, starting to do it. You can see if I turn the voltage slightly lower to 0.8 on the base of the transistor, we get this oscillation. I'm going to show you on the scope. So you can see that oscillation there. And as I turn the voltage higher on the base, that oscillation goes away. And uh, I'd, I'd heard somewhere a long time ago that there's a, a capacitance uh, in transistors, uh, kind of a, a small amount. And so I measured it using my capacitance meter. And um, I, I saw that there's actually 40 picofarads capacitance between the base and the emitter. Since we're passing voltage across that, um, the uh, that's basically it's charging up that capacitance inside the transistor, and then uh, and then releasing it, and that's what's causing that uh, sawtooth tooth waveform.